All right. Ready? Sure. Come on. It works. Just, just, just edit it. All right, and we are back between two yetis with Sarah and Ali. Yes. Ali, good to meet you both. Nice to meet you. Arguably, one of the coolest products I've seen at the Miami Show. Can you tell us a little bit about it and the company? Yeah, so these are uh, carbon fiber surfboard. They're motorized. Mm -hmm. It's a 90cc two-stroke engine inside of it. Uh, they go about 36 miles per hour. We've got a couple different models here. So this is our first time at the Yacht Show. We're really excited to be here. So how does it actually work? You obviously ride it like a surf or a weightboard. Yeah, like a Similar. wakeboard or a regular surfboard. It's, it's basically the same concept, the shape of the hole like type thing. Um, and you have a controller in your hand that you accelerate and decelerate. Yes. And the top speed was what? About 36 miles, 30, 38 depending on which model. That sounds super dangerous. No, not at all. Not super at all? Fun. No, it's super fun. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have to wear a BCD? Yeah. It's not called a BCD, is it? Yeah, so, well, like, life life jacket. Jacket, yeah. Life vest. <laughs> and what can you can you do jumps and tricks and yep. all kinds of stuff? There's a, there's a video back here, you might see it at some point. Uh, Mark Gomez is a, a jet ski freestyle champion. Right. He's backflipped it before off of a wake from right. a boat. And then uh, one of our guys here can do a 360. So, you know. That's amazing. We play with them. And how heavy are they? You say they're carbon fiber, so that's really light, but the engine obviously has got a bit of weight to it. Yep. I mean, is it something you can pick up and take to the beach? And... Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they come with a backpack bag. And their dry weight wow. is under 40, uh, 40 pounds. Really? Yeah. And how much gas do they hold? I mean, I assume they run on gas and oil, it's right? Two, it's two liters. Okay. And that will last you one hour of riding. At but full power. At full going, power. Going like after 20 minutes, your legs are like shaking, so you don't need the whole thing. You don't need yeah. it. I, I've wakeboarded before. I used to do it when I was a bit thinner. But, uh, and that really hurt the legs. <laughs> but, uh, that was a bit thinner. Yeah, right, you yeah. get off and it's like, let's not do that again. <laughs> Practice helps. Yeah, but so how much are we talking for one of these? I mean... I kind of want to get one right now, but how much money are we talking? The entry level model is 8,900 US dollars. Okay. Um, then it goes up from there. Um, 10,900 for our factory GP, which is a really great model for everybody. Uh, it's great for yachts. It has a set of bindings that you can go goofy or regular without changing anything. No screws, no nothing. There. And for the people not in the know, goofy or regular is, is left right, foot for, yep. right foot, left foot forward is regular, yep. Yep. right foot forward is goofy, goofy, right? right. Yep. See, yeah, lingo. You got it. Very, very good. How did you guys get into this? I mean, is it is surfing something you girls are passionate about? Or? Well, um, I've been doing board sports all my life. And when I first tried the jet surf, it was like, for me, all board sports in one. Because for, like, say, wakeboarding, you need a boat. Yeah. For surfing, you need wave. For um, kite surfing, you need wind, but in this case, all you need is water. Yeah. And you're bored. You Flat don't sound wind. like you're from America. No, though. I'm Mexican. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm a professional jet surf rider. Okay. And we travel around the entire world on competitions. But I'm sponsored by the USA, that's what I'm here. Very cool. Yeah. Do you know her? Do you need any type of training to ride one of these, or is it just you learn as you go? Um, well, both. It takes about I mean, you can do like a three hour technical and physical training, yeah. and usually most people are able to get up on their first time. And I mean, it's not like a weightboard where you put it out in front and then press the power. You kind of stand on it and stand up like a surfboard. So you start, uh, it depends on if you want to start in shallow water, start on a dock, or start in deep water. But uh, most, mostly when you start for your first time, you'll be on your belly, like you're bodyboarding, and right. you kind of get used to that, get, rid of, get uh, used to the throttle control and how fast you're going. And then when you get more comfortable, you can move to your knees and kneeboard around, and then eventually put your feet in the bindings and stand up. That's very, very cool. Yeah. Who's main your customers at the moment? This sounds like a good yacht toy. But are a lot of people starting to buy it just to take to the beach or? Yeah, depending. Uh, a lot of people that live on water love to get these because they can go right out of their back door, carry it over their head, throw it in the water and go for a ride. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. I'd love to take it to the beach. I don't know about refueling on the beach. They might frown upon that. No, but... you, can just, uh, <laughs> you can actually take the fuel tank out. So they are, uh, you can put them on a plane. Just take the fuel oh, wow. tank out as long as it doesn't smell like any gas or anything. You can, uh, yeah, you can do that. So. It's great. You can take it, out, take the fuel tank out, go uh, refuel it in your house or in the street, wherever is safest, and then you can bring it back and pop it back in. Pop it back in. Yep. Now I do see that. That looks very cool. Yep. What is that? With a, like a hydrofoil on it, right? Yeah, it's a new concept. Yeah. It's actually still a prototype, so it's not on the market yet. Okay. Yeah. And the idea of that is like a, it comes out of the water, the whole board, and goes in the hydrofoil. Yeah. That sounds very cool. Yeah, it's and about when, a tenth of the resistance of uh, normal riding because right. you're you have only that little bit in the water. Yep. Um, and it will run on our electric engine, which is also a new concept. 
which we have tested and it worked. Okay. But you'll be able to take out the combustion engine and throw an electric engine in there. Oh, so, so these are, you can just buy the, the upgrade kit. Eventually, right? next year in 2019, you'll be able to. In 2019. Yep. And we're going to be able to see you guys ride very shortly, right? Yeah, we're going out in like five minutes. Yeah. Very cool. So how do people get in touch with you if they want to buy one of these? Uh, we're Jet Surf USA. We're, uh, we're on Northeast 2nd Ave in Miami. So okay. you can visit our website, jetsurfusa.com. And so it's all made in America then, right? Yeah, it's all made in America, yeah. Wow, fantastic. Well, girls, thank you very much for yeah, your time. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. And we'll see you on the water. Bye. Bye. Bye.